everyone and welcome to this week's update. So they came, they saw, and they have now left. Finally, the wait for our set is gone and I want to share with you some feedback they gave us. Now, I can't give you the overall grades. I'm not allowed to until the report has been published. But we should be really, really proud. Uh, I mean, no more so, no, no, no less so than we are normally. But what was nice to see and what was nice to hear is they saw the school for its very, very best. They saw what we are trying to do. They recognised the through school model. They recognised the strength in the community partnerships. And most importantly, they recognised how wonderful, how safe, how successful, how happy your children are. And I want to thank each and every one of you for helping us to do that. Because when you run a school, it is an ever. It's not my school. It's not the staff school. It's your school. It's your children's school. And we spoke to the children about making sure we look after it because it's a precious thing. The reputation of the Halifax Academy is a precious thing. It stays with them forever. And uh, they, they were absolutely magnificent over the last few days. So just some of the feedback I'm going to give you, and there was so much, so I will probably forget some, was around, first of all, just around the community. They couldn't believe the community links that we have and how highly you speak of the school. They saw the community kitchen. They spoke with parents. Uh, they saw the primary parents at the end of the day, the secondary parents as well. They read all of the kind words you said about the school in the parent survey, and they could not believe the overwhelmingly positive comments and support that we have. And those links, they said, should be shared across the country, and every school should be doing what we are trying to do. They saw this idea of a voice to change the world and seeing that we want your children to go out there and smash down those doors of prejudice and any doors of discrimination that are in front of them because your children are fantastic and they deserve the very best opportunities. And they saw children, they gave examples of these children, your children, having these examples which gave them the resilience and courage and strength of character to go out there and make a difference. And you should be really, really proud of that. I'm really, really proud of that. They saw safe and happy and successful children. Our outcomes are absolutely fantastic. They knew that, they saw that. They saw, they said they couldn't believe the behaviour they saw across the school, but in particular in primary, how safe children were, how happy they were. Every child they spoke with during the days told them that, yeah, they, they all had a safe person to speak with. They knew what they could go and do. They knew how to use their voice to stand up for either themselves or, or, or their friends. And they saw that, and, and again, it was wonderful to see. They saw the richness of the curriculum all the way through and how deep and what ambition it has for your children, how it's written for your children, and the decisions that we have made as a school are to help your children. So there is so much more I could talk about. Anybody who knows me knows that I can talk for hours about this school and about everything that uh, is wonderful about it. Um, but I just wanted to share that feedback. Two more things from me. The first is well done to the year 11s. The exams are now over. You can breathe a sigh of relief and again, really, really proud of how hard the year 11s have worked and that exams uh, results day in, in August, we look forward to celebrating some fantastic results. Um, so well done everybody who's got through that. And then the final bit is just a congratulations to Mr Adams who was appointed Senior Director of Primary this week. Um, I know that he's going to do a fantastic job and uh, I'm sure that he will communicate with you soon. So that's it from me. I'm a little bit tired. Staff have been absolutely magnificent this week. They're a little bit tired. The children have been absolutely magnificent. I'm sure they're a little bit tired. So everybody deserves a weekend. So I'm going to go now, get on with my weekend. But I look forward to hitting Monday with the same standards, the same love, the same care that we always do. Take care, everyone. Have a nice time.